Okay, so this is my satellite receiver. Some a friend of mine brought it over for repairs. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it up and check um, to see if we find any problem with that. This is a very smaller one, very smaller one. So uh, let's see what we we'll get and we'll see. Let's see what we we'll find out. Then we we'll try and repair it up and switch it back on. As of now, it's not working at all. Um, if power is supplied, nothing is showed on the display and stuff. So we'll work it out and see what we can get from it. Okay. Okay. So um, I have opened it up and um, we want to check. So this is the top cover, and these are the two screws that holds holds the cover down to the body, to the casing as well. So um, I'm going to remove the electronics. Then we we'll see if there's any problem. As you can see, just looking closely, you can tell. Um, there is a problem somewhere. I noticed this capacitor um, has a problem there. It, it has a flat um, base, but down to the terminals, it's just popped up. So I'm going to um, desolder that and replace this capacitor and see. I checked the other component, everything is fine. The fuse is fine and everything is okay. So we'll, we'll change that capacitor and see the response and power it back on and see what we'll get. Okay, so this is the circuit. Um, you can see we have some input here, RF in and out, HDMI. Then basically this section is the power supply section, which is a switch mode power supply. I'm certain it's a flyback type, yeah. Yeah, so basically that is it. So you can see this capacitor here. If you look at it carefully, the base carefully. You can tell from the base, you can tell the capacitor is damaged. The terminal there is damaged from the base of this capacitor so i'm going to change this capacitor and it's uh i think 16 16 volts um, thousand microfarads so i'm going to see what i have in my in my stores then we change it this is the bottom part of it we change it and we'll see if it's this circuit okay, so um this is it i've changed the capacitor as you can see, it's damaged. As you can see, this capacitor is really, really damaged. Yeah, so very bad. Uh, and I've changed it into a new one of the same value, which is this one here, which is this capacitor here. So um, this is about 1016 microfarad, micro heavy, the microfarad, sorry. That's about 1016 microfarad. So I'm going to put this back and reassemble it and we test it and see its performance. Okay. So it's assembled back and that is it. I'm going to test it now. Um, this is a power plug. I'm just going to put this back, put in some power, then we'll see if the display will come, will come as required and see if it, we'll see if it will reboot. So um, as of now, that is what I'm going to do now. So let's put in some power. Let's fry it up and see what we have. Okay, so um, that is it. I'm powering it to see what we'll get. So I'm just putting it to power. And uh, we have nothing on the screen. Yeah, so it's booting now. Good. So our system is back online. So basically this is how we repair a power supply as such and also a decoder as such. So sometimes these are the problems we have. We have a bad damage capacitor at the rectifier which is the switch mode power supply in the system. So basically um, it's good and everything is performing as required. Thank you for watching this video. This is Electrical and you are welcome. Stay tuned for more.